What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Seven Tech once again, and we have more mining news from CES 2018. This time it's coming from EVGA, who has now revealed a 2200 watt power supply. Stick around. Welcome back. So all of the information I've been able to gather came from either Jacob from EVGA's Twitter account or BPS Customs. I'll leave a link to BPS Customs video in the description below. And a huge thanks to him for covering this. Now he didn't cover it from a mining perspective, even though he briefly kind of popped it on screen for other things. And there, there is a pretty good reason why this particular power supply is going to be aimed towards mining only and we'll get into that in just a second after we go over specs. Of course this brand or model is going to be the Supernova branding and it's going to be the 2200P2. And if you're thinking already well there's only uh, 1800 watts allowed from a 120 volt wall socket you're not wrong this power supply is going to require between 200 and 240 volts and of course that means in the US side you're going to need to get some 220 installed. You should if you're already mining probably have moved over to this in my personal opinion but I understand if some of y'all are just hobbyist mining you're looking for maybe a different option here so it's important to note. Now the power supply is platinum rated so we should get some really good efficiency off of it as well as it's fully modular. Now in the video from BPS Customs, he briefly did mention that the rep for EVGA said that it would support up to seven GTX 1070s. And I'm assuming that means at full power there, of course, and not power modded by, you know, you, the miner who will probably do it. In which case you could probably fit more than seven, of course, but you know, for advertising purposes, etc., and keeping themselves safe, seven seems to be that number. What that does tell me is that the power supply should ship with at least 14 by eight PCIe power adapters, which is good news because it's nice having a whole bunch of extra shipping with those power supplies because even though you can fit more on some smaller power supplies, of course you always run into the problem of companies only shipping like four by eight PCIe power adapters and then you have to go source the rest or or use some sort of converter that, that it could be somewhat sketchy. So out of the box, this is a good option. However, I would question whether it's really worth it compared to maybe just getting a breakout board and a 2400 watt server power supply and using one of those kind of options instead for mining, especially since this power supply is going to require the 220 volt install as well as the server power supply. So there's no real advantage to it other than ease of use and out of box ready to go setup without using any messy kind of breakout board setup that you might not be comfortable with. For all of this though, I'm sure it'll come at a pretty hefty price premium as this does go even above their current 1600 watt options. And I'm not too confident that it's going to be ROI friendly. We'll have to see here in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, be sure to check out BPS Customs video of this or coverage of this from CES 2018 in the description below. Don't forget to like and comment. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday.